fancy beauty symbols welcome back to your girl's channel it's Gina just in case you didn't know you are just coming through for the very first time welcome to the family so today this look is going to be worked with the Jacqueline Hill palette as you just saw and I'm gonna be using those two colors specifically I may add in another color as well but I will tell you if that's what we're doing so we're going to use our base and we're using MAC Soft Ochre for our base today. And I wanted to do like a nice summer purple mauve fuchsia type of color. I was trying to come away from pink, but y'all know pink is my color. I love working with pink. So we're going to place that uh, base on the lid as well as on the lower lash line and here I'm just complaining about my nails because I've been trying to take them off for the last few days I finally got them all off thank goodness so I'm gonna leave all the colors that I used in the description bar for you guys that I used out of this palette and if I grabbed another palette I'll leave that down below for you guys as well Hopefully you guys are staying safe, you're staying inside, you're washing those hands, and just trying to find fun things to do while we are on this lockdown, honey. So what I'm doing in my crease area, I'm just packing that pretty, pretty color on, and I want it to be as pigmented as I could possibly get it. So I believe I went in maybe five or six times to get the desired color that I was looking for and then we're just gonna pack it on and then we'll worry about blending it out in just a few so now I'm just taking some translucent powder I'm using Derma blend, I believe. No, I'm not. I'm using banana and I mixed it with sienna. And I'm just placing that above that pretty color that I placed in the crease area. Why I'm doing this is to just make sure that that is going to give me enough slip so that it's not going to make my colors muddy. And that's the purpose of that. So when I go in with my transition color, it'll go on real nice and smooth and I won't have to worry about the colors being smudged together instead of being blended together, which is what we want. And as you can see, that is the difference right there. And then just going back in that crease, with some more of that same color just to bring some more pigmentation to it just in case we lost some now we're going to work the lid area and i went in with that pretty pretty it was supposed to be lavender but it came off like a fuchsia mauve color but that's okay it went well with what we're doing today and i just packed that on as much as I could get it to pop and it's so pretty you guys let me know in the down in the comment section how you feel about this color so now I'm just gonna take another color out of that palette and I'm just gonna drag that along my lash line just to kind of give it a smoky type effect like a liner smoky effect. Just want to do something different with my look today. It did pose a lot of fallout, so I just took a wipe and just wiped that right away. Neutrogena is the wipe that I'm using here, and I absolutely love those. It's a bit more expensive than the Equate brand, but it's well worth it. So I'm just checking out everything just to make sure we can move on. If I need to touch up anything, if so, I will do it at this time. But I think we can go ahead and move on to 
makeup, foundation, contouring, and bronzing. So now we're baking. And I did go ahead and pop my lashes on while I was off camera. And I will put those up in the video for you guys to see which ones I used. And they are from Kiss. They're either from Kiss or from Ardell. So I'm just brushing away that baking. And I'm using Revlon Color Stay for my foundation today. And I'll leave the color that I am in this foundation in the description bar for you guys as well. And those are the lashes that I use. Those are the Ardell's. And I love these lashes. It was my first time using them. And they fit really good. I didn't have to cut them down or anything. So we're going to go ahead and work that lower lash line. And I'm using the same colors that I used on my lid space. So we're just duplicating those same colors down below. And that really took this look to the next level. When I start putting that, those colors on my lash line, girl, I was like, oh yes, this look is totally coming together. my little happy dance like oh yeah we getting it in right now <laughs> and this we're just popping some I forget what color I use in the tear duct area but I'm getting really good at placing this tear duct color, honey. I'm really getting better. I'm a little proud of myself with this look right here, y'all. So y'all got to let me know in the comment section. Your girl skills coming along or no? <laughs> let me know, y'all. <laughs> oh, so um, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video leave your comments down in the comment section check out the description bar because i want to have everything in there that you guys need to know how i got this look y'all stay safe stay positive stay focused on god keep washing those hands stay safe stay fancy and stay with your girl and i'll see you in the next video i love you guys
Oh, 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 oh,